changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. Today on the show to talk about musicians and their money is a young, seasoned enterprise young man, an acquirable son, a father, a husband, an audio engineer, a music producer. And I have seen him actually play the guitar before for me on set. <laughs> Somebody that I admire so much from a distant audio factory CEO himself. Welcome to Princess Pat Akrabi Show, Dennis Etuk Udo. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Pat Akrabi Show. Thank you very much. You. I give you the handshake. How are you doing, my brother? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today on this show. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm like, I'm really enjoying the, um, the love, the feel, you know, everything, the whole energy you brought into the studio when you walked in. For real. Thank the you. energy was already here. I mean, you know, when, when people come in and they see us doing good things, like, you know, they're complimenting us and we're like, oh, okay, it's good vibe. So you're bringing all the whole musician vibe into the studio. So we love that. Thank Welcome. You. It's good to see you. Thank you. Tell us about yourself a little bit more. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just a great guy. I think so. <laughs> I'm Mr. Dennis, uh, properly uh, known as the the audio boss. That's right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> been into uh, the music scene for mm -hmm. what, 25 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Some people are trying to calculate my age. I'm like 40. Ah. <laughs> so I'm a music producer. Okay. I'm a content creator for Brain Sparks. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, I have three boys. I'm married. Been married for like 11 years. Wow. Yeah. And wow. I own a recording house. Mm -hmm. uh, I run Global Audio Factory. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. The other ones come on the side. I do videos on the side. Okay. I'm a musician, not on the side. That's, uh, that's for, real. Yeah, for real. I do marketing and business talks. Mm -hmm. and I, could, uh, I could do a couple more, but those are the ones, the ones that, that you kind of like. Mind. Okay, I like that. I kind of yeah. like that. So now as a producer and as a musician, what has kept you interested in the industry up till today? Considering all the things, you know, the rise and fall and new things coming out and all that stuff, and you have to constantly reinvent yourself. Why have you been I, so interested till now? I, I just love music. I'm, ha I'm a happy person. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, 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 I used to tell me, I said one time at a program that I don't have a plan for my life. And they go, whoa. <laughs> Uh, you're successful at what you do. Mm -hmm. you do do this without a plan. I'm like, I the only plan I had was to be happy. Oh, so wow. I just want to be happy and I wow. enjoy playing the bass. Wow. So this is how it went. I enjoy playing the bass. From playing the bass, I noticed people really wanted me to play, so mm -hmm. they paid me to play. Mm -hmm. and lots of people wanted to learn, so they paid me to learn. Learn. So I had to like, oh, this could be a great idea to get a big place to teach people how to play, so play a bigger place to do it. Yeah, and that's how I really didn't have a plan. The plan just got to me. So that's right. How to stay interested is just plan to be happy. Happy in all of it. it. So basically, for you, music has just been something that you're happy about and doing. It's, it's fun for me. I like it's that. Fun for me. I like that. I mean, you guys to be happy with whatever you're doing anyway. Whether you're a teacher, you have to be happy. Doing music, you have to be happy. Now, I know that sometimes when you have artists come to you to record music, some of them could be very set in their ways. And that means, okay, I don't want to sing on that note. I don't want to go octave higher. I want my music produced this way. I don't like the drums the way it was played and all of that. How do you convince an artist that you just have to have just a little tweak to the arrangement of their music? Music. It is simple, and in the course of our negotiation, before we get uh, mm -hmm. exchange values, like mm -hmm. you get to pay, and I have to put my thinking cap on, <laughs> mm -hmm. I get to go. Like, uh, can I ask a question? Go. Can you give me permission to twist a little, mm -hmm. just a little? I'm not mm -hmm. gonna do too much. To it. And they go. Uh, you know that first question. That uh, you know, uh, uh, is asking for permission. Will he overdo? Do it. Like, okay, seriously, this is like like two. You have two options, right? Mm -hmm. One, you would rely on my professionalism mm -hmm. and expect for me to advise you, mm -hmm. which I think that's the reason you came to me to, me to produce for you. you. Uh, or you would probably want me to be like your audio engineer. I mm -hmm. want my voice to sound loud. I just push it mm. the button and it goes loud. <laughs> I want this to do. I could be an audio engineer on, or you, I could be creative and mm -hmm. very useful for you. For you. But I think you should go 
for me being very creative and useful for you. Okay. And I could do this and I go ahead and, to, you know, play something that they get impressed by and they go, okay, that's mm -hmm. nice. You could do that for me too. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, it's, I understand that the temperaments could be, you know, a little way. Like shaky. Okay. So I, 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 I don't go forcing my uh, expertise up on them. On anybody. I have to, I talk about negotiations, but I know my ultimate aim is to sound good finally. But, so. Of course, <laughs> because your name is going on yeah, it anyway as yeah, a person who produced it. I have to it. bend it to, you know, where I could <laughs> put my stuff. I put this logo on some of their works, so uh -huh. I have to be sure that I can put it and go back I'm just, and rest. I got and, you. And know when people call me, like, that song was really nice. I'm like, yeah. That was it, right? It was Yeah, you know what I did? It. <laughs> <laughs> so now, Dennis, as a producer now, what is the first thing you listen to in terms of listening to a new song? What is that distinctive sound you would like to hear? For instance, you just pick up somebody's album that wasn't produced by you. How would you say, wow, the producer did such a nice job. What's the first thing that hits you? What would you listen to first? Clarity. Why clarity first? Okay. Uh, if, if it's a song, then it has to sound like one. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to play through different media. It's going to play through a phone. It's going to play. I'm I'm going to listen to it from the audio engineer's perspective Text first, first before going to have to listen to it. The the, the uh, your ability to create mm -hmm. because I get to listen to all of that's that. Right. But the first thing that hits me is it's clarity. Oh, like that. it's clear. I like it. It's mm, sweet. Okay. It can outlast time. Cause okay. Every time I get to pick up a job done by uh, a, a song by Michael Jackson, it's like timeless. Mm. Abba, it's timeless. Mm -hmm. So, and when you, they, those you guys, still feel have, the vibe. Yes, those guys, they have these uh, oh, digital the, things that, that we, have we have right now. now. They have like analog stuff and for them to have that clarity preserved since then till now, mm -hmm. so that's the only thing I listen out for, listen out for, uh, you know. Creativity. Yeah, creativity, clarity. Mm -hmm. well, clarity hits me first. first. I, I listen to your creativity. He's able to arrange this. What did he bring out first? Who is he trying to talk to? Mm -hmm. You know, I can hear what's the that. message. Yes, what's the message? And all what, of that. what the vibe, because mm -hmm. sometimes, Musicians are like the best actors, right? Mm. If, if you ask me, they're mm. like the best actors. They can go into a mood. Mm. They can switch into. <laughs> mm. Amen. <laughs> are you guilty? No, no, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with what you're saying. They're, they're the best. The best actors, because they get to, they, they can think of a song uh -huh. that is actually not them. Them. But they get into the the vibe interpreting. Of that song. Interpreting. In, 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 interpreting. Really there you go. Cool. So there you go. I listen for. I listen to clarity. I listen to creativity. Mm -hmm. and every other thing that follows through. So the whole song. Yeah. For you, what would a good song typically have to be solid? Mm. Good production. Good lyrics. Mm -hmm. uh, I have kids, so I should be able to be played to kids. To so as you well. Know, okay. I, you know, okay. I'm, I'm a Christian, so mm -hmm. I would. Avoid being a little vulgar. Avoid it. Avoid it. Yes. Like, like if you can. If I can, I could. But sometimes it just creeps up on you and you go, hey, F. <laughs> <laughs> and you just say it because yeah. that's just about being yeah, real, though. Exactly. You just go, F. I'm like, oh, he said that. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's go back to listening to the song again. And, <laughs> you know, it, it pops up because I'm black. Mm -hmm. It comes with the whole black thing. And I was, that's right. I was trained on the streets too. too. So, you know, it comes like a great vibe. Vibe. Mm -hmm. So that's about it. That's just, I mean, lang language and content too. The kind of language you're using and what you're playing to kids. Yes. That's what you want to hear. And I, I want to be. The clean. Yeah. It has to be clean, clean and all of that stuff. Yeah. Well, I like that. Let me ask you this question. And this is actually an individual question there. Would you produce me? Music that has a lot of that, what do you call it, profanity, instead of it and vulgar language in it. I've done it before, I've done it yeah. countless times. Did some people choke you from the church aspect of it? Because, mm. you know, we're from a, we're living in a religious society. Okay, I, I, have, I have a word. <laughs> you own a pharmacy too. You sell condoms to kids. Ooh. <gasps> Okay, let me take a quick break on that one. I'll be right back. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Butter Show. Back from the break. And so we've been talking to Dennis, an audio engineer, and he has been in the studio. He's trying to set me on fire up in here. Yes, you are selling condoms to kid now. Yeah, you do that, you know, well. You you underpay other people. Um, there's so many things that are like wrongs as well in the Bible that mm -hmm. you don't do. So don't hang on me, just blame me. I'm just, I'm a professional. That's what you're doing, right? That's what I do. I like you, that. You know, I like you, that. You're a carpenter. You build hotels. You build brothels. My God, too. come on. 
Come on. Don't make it look like I'm the only one who's doing profane stuff. That's you right. Do, you do that. You do it in your height. Because I'm the one caught on the, on the, cam on the camera. So. Doing it. So, like, what the heck? You know what I'm saying? More sinner than than you. you of a sinner, yeah. right? The idea is Jesus is real, so we've accepted, you know, his righteousness, and we're good. That's right. I like that. You're a professional. Whatever you do, do it professionally. Now, how you make your money, that is your personal business, and we don't want to do it. And you shouldn't actually be condemning people because of what they choose to do to make money to put food on, on their table. table. Now, we are not saying go kill anybody to make money. We're just saying if it's legal and it's legit, it's a-okay by us, Dennis. Thank you. <laughs> Dennis, do you think that musicians are being abused financially, church-wise, in the business as a whole, in the industry? Do you think that some people get paid more than some and some people don't get paid at all? Yeah, uh, okay. Let's, let's start from here. Okay. Right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm a PK, pastor's mm -hmm. kid, mm -hmm. and naturally we just, you know, gravitate around the music instruments in the church, mm -hmm. and how to play the piano, mm -hmm. and so it is easy for the pastor who is my dad or mm -hmm. my parent to just assume that, oh, we're going to have great piano today. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dennis, you could just play the piano. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's because I visited you, can play for free. Uh -huh. But I'm not going to be here next Sunday, I'm going to go back to my work, so mm -hmm. who's going to play? For you. If you, if you, musicians have been, they have been abused mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, they get to, people get to assume, oh, we always have them. Mm. Uh, C finish always gets to come in. Mm. Uh, yeah, familiar. We're, we're, mm. we're entitled to this guy. Entitlement, we're, sense of entitlement. Yeah, we've seen you grow. We watched, I know your mother. Mm. Hello? Uh -huh. I know your mother. Uh -huh. Why? Come on, play this thing. Uh -huh. they, they, they put that into, they, they rub that on her faces. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. But I've been able to, I think I've been blessed. I've seen a few uh, of the eels in the, in the industry, but mm -hmm. I, I've been blessed. My, my pastor was like the first mm -hmm. in the city to in 2000 when I joined his church mm -hmm. uh, to pay me 4200 Wow. Then, and that was like the first guy to pay. For, for service. For service. And As a musician. he made me serious. Mm -hmm. He made me listen to the songs more. More. I, I practiced a lot more. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I, I took it more, more seriously. More seriously because of the money too. Yes, because I know minus the fact that he was the father figure in my mm -hmm. life then and until now. Mm -hmm. My father figure in my life and I had to play for, in his church. And mm -hmm. this is what I, I'm going to be doing for a living. Mm -hmm. So I have to attach professionalism to, to this. It. So, you know, but the other guys I've noticed they get to ah, can you can we have you this Sunday? And I'm like, no, you can't. So mm. can you just get me somebody? And I get you somebody, and you go and, and you don't pay. Uh, you don't pay. Not even appreciate. Let's not say sorry. I'm not trying to cut you. Let's not say pay. Let's say appreciate. appreciate. You don't you don't appreciate what mm -hmm. we do, and you, you, because they are okay. Um, I I think I want to blame the musicians sometimes too. Cause okay. You you go to a church not looking good. You know. Mm. Because, Casually, yeah, just like just that. Just look good. Look like a musician. Mm. Don't look tattered. Look mm -hmm. like you're serious. Mm -hmm. Put on a body spray at least. Comb your hair. Mm. Look great, you know. And and speak well. Have a good courage. They will All not right. disrespect you That's for right. you. Because most right. I guess they disrespect musicians because they look funny. Mm -hmm. they say, uh, could you just play that? But nobody can do that to me. Mm -hmm. Because first, man, I, I, My dro I drove here. That's I right. drove into your venue. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I won't wait till after the service to say, "Sir, can we? Can we? Uh -huh. We must have exchange value before I got, got here. here." That's right. So I, I attach the business part to myself, but it it has happened. Uh, the fact that C finish gets to rob on people's People. faces, and some pastors just don't take musicians seriously. Seriously, what they should. Because you should. take your plumber seriously at home, mm -hmm. you take your doctor seriously, seriously. you take every other electrician in your, lab, in your life seriously. That's How right. The musicians are not taking seconds, yeah. taking seriously. So I think, I think they should just understand that there's professionalism, professionalism in involved thing. in this thing. Yes. And okay, and one of the things that you've said that also stood out for me is the fact of appearance. Yes. How you appear and how you present yourself as yes. a professional yes. will also make other people to take you seriously and also treat you better. And then again, you must also know your onions yeah. and what you're doing in the industry Great. as well. What about sexual abuse? Do you think musicians, and now when I'm saying sexual abuse, I'm talking about both male and female. How do you, how would you differentiate it? Because maybe it could be different for women who are musicians. What do you say about sexual abuse? 
like uh, the people abusing musicians or musicians being the one being doing sexual abuse. Mm-hmm. It's abuse. Sexual abuse. It's sexual abuse. It's sexual abuse. First, uh, you don't have home training. <laughs> Anybody who, has, who does sexual abuse, you you are not trained. Mm-hmm. You need to flog your dad and your mom. <laughs> no kidding. Mm-hmm. Because first, I I I, I have taught my kids to respect the fact that women, she, they have never seen me mm-hmm. raise my hands on women. Right. Okay. Talk less of. Uh, if, if she says no to something, mm-hmm. it means no. Mm-hmm. If we have to talk about it, we we'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. So it's about dialogue. Let's negotiate. Let's mm-hmm. agree. We have to agree before any activity it goes you know, on. Yeah. Okay. So the, the the reason why people get to abuse is I think bad training. Bad first, training. First, you have seen too many bad examples. Mm-hmm. Everybody's body moves. Mm-hmm. Okay. I talk. I talk. I like one that. Side. Everybody. <laughs> Your body yeah, moves. I talked one time at the church <laughs> service, I think uh, <laughs> two years ago at the, 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 uh, the Valentine service. I was mm-hmm. given an opportunity to speak, and I'm like, don't 100% accept you, like, not normal. Mm-hmm. For 100% of men, you see a naked body, your mm-hmm. body goes, come. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, that bubble head. <laughs> your mind does a bubble headed thing, you know. And first, your body's going to move, but mm-hmm. then your thoughts should remind you, I have home training. Yes. She's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. She mm-hmm. got boob boobs. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This. Okay. Uh, why is it outside? Question. Yeah. Is, is, does she have a problem? problem. I, I think about all of that. Yeah. Problem. problem. Okay. Is she psychologically okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, does she have parents who should mm, have taken care of this? Internal questioning. Yes, I, I ask myself this question because it doesn't mean it, I, she could be, do all them sexy dance and stuff in mm-hmm. her business. Mm-hmm. But all of this question goes on in my, my mind. mind. Un, until, until, <laughs> until she says, come, I ain't moving. No. Because you shouldn't. No, no. I'm there should be an agreement. Yes. And there should be an invitation. Yes. That this must happen. Yes. What about rape? I. I should. I should kill you when you rape. It doesn't count. It doesn't make any sense. It's not nice. It's not nice for real. Uh, nothing justifies rape. Of nothing, course. Nothing just. Um, somebody asked a question one time and said, "What? What do you think triggers it?" I'm like, stupidity does trigger. It's triggered. It. Yes. I like stupid. that. I like you're that. Stupid. Stupidity. I, I don't care how naked the lady gets. I don't care how nice your boobs, your boobs and booty looks. Mm-hmm. If there is supposed to look nice, that's how God made it. The whole figure, figure. is supposed to look amazing. That's why we move. That's why we have erection as guys. But basically, doesn't mean erection doesn't mean enter. Mm. Doesn't mean first. The person is crying and you're still doing. How do you enjoy it? How do you enjoy that? Doesn't make any sense. It takes things are never what they seem to be. Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love, hold each other's hands in confidence, we'll make the world a better place. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patapatio Show.